What's up, Bucky Elastic here for my WRX channel. Gonna do a quick unboxing. We have a PRL front mount air cooler kit. I'm be putting on my car this weekend. Going down uh, for a tune at Cobb Surge Line here, middle of next week. So uh, let's unbox this. I thought the box would be bigger. Oh no, everything is packed in here so tight. It's there's no rattle to this at all. And oh really? Oh yeah, it's it's all very tight in here. I really thought it was gonna be bigger too. But it's not. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, look. Goodies. We got some stickers. Let's see here. A little checklist. Oh, all the awesome. parts. I'm guessing. That's my receipt. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Man, look at all that hardware. Got a pack of hoses. Looks like they're all pre-cut the sizes I need. Got. I believe this is the yeah, washer fluid uh, reservoir. It's oh, the new re, re, the re, uh, filler cap relocator to move it over a little bit. Looks really good actually. Wow, okay. Pull that back up. Okay, where's the end? Man, there's a lot of stuff. I know. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm not sure what this is. Bracket of some sort. Bracket of some sort. I think this is a. Uh, not positive, I think it's an intake bracket. They have their own bracket to hold that. I'll set that aside. Well, we'll figure it out. I mean, yep. We yeah, we'll also go through the whole thing. We don't read instructions, anyways. A whole bunch of T bolt clamps. Oh, awesome. Nice clamps. Oh, yeah, very nice clamps. Couplers. Oh, okay, cool. Here next. This is going to be ground in red black. Very, uh, looks like very uh, good quality powder coating on there. Oh, yeah, Texas. This is going to be the other part. Just a vent tube. No need. No plane. No nothing on there. Yeah. They've packed this very, very well. Plenty of bubble wrap. Let's see here. What do we have here? Just another bent piece of tubing. Again, wrapped very well. And another piece of tubing. Oh, this is going to be the flange that comes off the turbo here. Oh, okay. Nice thick flange. I wonder if there's a gasket. There is. It looks like it takes an OEM gasket there. Yeah. Let's take a little closer look. Yeah. Look With the little notch and everything. So probably just, I might swing by the dealership and buy a new one just because. Yeah. You get an extra one. Yep. There's yeah, just an open pipe there. Unless there's one in there. There might be some. I'll have to read the parts list. Let's see here. Round number 10, I'm not going to bother unpacking all this until yeah. we install it. It's the Lego set, pretty yep. much. Oh, more brackets. These are the brackets that go on either end. It goes on passenger side of the intercooler. I think it bolts on each end of the intercooler and then goes where you remove the bumper beam. Oh, okay, just bolts right on. Bolts right on. Got four bolts holding it on. I feel how heavy that is. Dude, that's, that's heavy duty. Dude, this thing is massive, man. Holy crap, there's some weight to that. Oh, yeah. Okay, another bag of clamps. Oh, these are for all the small hoses. I'm assuming some adapters. Oh, here's all the bolts. Oh, awesome. Some zip ties they've been including there. 
And I was talking to him about the, the it comes with a rubber isolator to mount the air box or the uh, intake. And it's compatible with factory into or uh, aftermarket intakes besides mm -hmm. their own. Oh really? And I believe he said it was compatible with the ETS that I have, so we'll check that out when we do the install. And actually just rub it adds a little bit of uh, rubber isolation to the mount on there. So it can flex a little bit. I'm not gonna throw any of this away because I don't know if there's any, any parts in that. I know. Uh, let's see here. Oh crap, look at this star of the show. Right here. Star of the show right here. The big ass intercooler. And this thing is big. The other side. That thing is huge, man. It's very massive. There you go, 30 PSI tested by Dave. Thanks, Dave. They got both ends capped. We're not gonna bother pulling those off. No, I don't need to, not yet. Holy crap, look at that. Very, very massive intercooler. Dude, look at these roll of dimes right here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Very nice welds. And my favorite part about the PRL kit is the end tanks are made out of a solid piece of billet aluminum. And they're all, all CNC milled. Awesome. You know what, we should, Put that against the stock intercooler and put the size comparison. You still got yours? <laughs> oh, I'm just saying popular. Oh, there. I don't know where mine's at. All right, so we're going to compare the size difference between the stock intercooler and this massive beast right here so you can get a kind of reference point how big it is. Holy crap, look at that. Yeah, you lined up that way. And it's easily twice as thick as the stock intercooler. Twice as thick. Look at that. Just how she likes it. I know. <laughs> Put your hand right there. Look at that. Yeah, that's huge. Boom. And we can hold that up to the front of the car too. Where it'll be sitting. Which way? It goes like that. Like right there. It'll sit. So yeah. I think it's massive. Dude. <laughs> More power. Oh yeah. Dude, I didn't see any instructions, man. We don't read instructions anyways. Uh, we sure don't. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> There's only so many pieces here. Yeah, we've got at least the checklist. We can check all the parts. Yeah. And Jeff's going to get it tuned soon. Yep. We'll be going down to Cobb, Cobb uh, Tuning and Surge Line uh, next Wednesday, the 13th. So we'll uh, try and get a video up shortly after that with some results. Get some numbers. There you go. We're good to go. Boom. He's out, Jeff. <laughs> Bottom. I think it goes the other way. No way. I think it's supposed to stick out the other way. No way. No, it does. Like that. <laughs> Fuck it. We're, we're putting it in like this. Why not? Fuck it. No, I, I think it goes like that, dude. <laughs> yeah. You find that damn cool. cool. <laughs> well, all those dance guys are doing like more, you know. We're shitting that, I mean.